A leader are you? We're gay! No. What? Uh, 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 look at the screen? Oh, yes. The Oh, yes. Okay, I understand the reference. Fucking okay, idiots. Very funny. Don't worry, guys. Um, I showed a leader <laughs> the image about 15 minutes ago, and then we were bullshitting, and then we started recording, so forgive him for not getting it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Crazy. My goodness. Kyle, I couldn't believe this happened. It was crazy to me. I wish it happened, because <laughs> I'm a little <laughs> sex fiend, you know, Alita I just love lesbians. But, Alita E, don't worry, this evening I actually have notes, so we will get to it later. So no talking about kissing yet, you fucking idiot. Right. Remember then yeah. there's the house uh, jo that Joffrey Longmouth was from that has kisses on the shield? You remember Joffrey Longmouth? Mm -hmm. I remember him, kind of. Who was he? Well, there's only one Joffrey that's not the main Joffrey and not the kid Joffrey. And that Joffrey is named after the old Joffrey? That's crazy. You're correct, Aleary. Mm -hmm. That was Lainor's boyfriend. Now, Lainor's other boyfriend, right. his dragon, got stolen this episode. But Aleary, we're not talking about that yet either. Right. <laughs> you know, Aleary, we've been trying to talk about the important things at the beginning, and we literally just did talk about the two important things from the episode uh, at the beginning, mm -hmm. but we're actually not talking about them. So, Aleary, yeah. episode six of season seven of Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon, what do you think? This was a good episode. I think just as good as the last one. Um, I I don't know. Yeah, I liked it. You thought it was boring? No, I was going to make that joke, though, because it is very much like the last episode. But the last episode wasn't boring. I was just being funny, Alita -y a little bit. But maybe it was a little bit boring. I can't really remember or remember what I made my mind up for. But this one was just, mm. uh, it was pretty good, you know. But not too much happened. But a little bit happened. And they kissed. And a dragon and stuff. But we'll get to it. The really. small folk hat happened true episode because title, this episode's small title is small folk now everybody uh, distract yourselves while i look at our oh my god elite are you we were orange for a second because you cut out for a little bit but we're fine now because i just saw it go back to green so everybody shut up and nobody acknowledged that the lannisters are lame elite are you? that's my first note because they arrive where do they arrive elite are you? at the place where it, we talked about know, last time elite are you on the garden, map you I... know when i said it a few times so you should definitely remember it and you're going to recall it right now and we're going to clap for you uh, well, there were, um, I don't know. I have no idea. There's a short fat man. He said, my lord, welcome to the, the, g -g 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 I would assume the Riverlands. It's two words. It starts with a G. No it starts with a G. It's on the border of the Riverlands, leader. Uh, gold, 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 I'm not going to get this. <laughs> golden, <laughs> golden water, leader. -y. That's the, I have no, you the golden anything, tooth, the leader. -y. Are you a the fucking idiot tooth? or something? Okay. You right, now cool. you remember it, right? He doesn't no. chat. I'm embarrassed for him. It's like we went over this at the beginning of the last thingy, and he's already forgotten it. Mm. They had real lions, Alita -y. That was pretty wacky. Yeah, that looked a bit weird. I don't know what it was. If they were, like, using smoke or something, or maybe just my stream looked really weird, but or maybe it was, like, badly composited, like in that one deer in The Walking Dead or whatever, but, yeah, it looked weird. Yeah, they, they just had it jumping into a thingy. I guess it's there for intimidation or something. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a Maybe thing some it. people uh, make fun of, Alitari, because there's no fucking lions in England. Okay. <laughs> what does that have to do with this? And this place is supposed to be England, Alitari. It's shaped just like it. Are you stupid? Is it? Yeah. No, I didn't even know that. Well, it's kind of. And, the, you know, the wall is up the north, and, the, and England had Hadrian's Wall, Alitari, which is to keep those Scottishes out. Now, Alitari, mm. Mr. R is Scottish, so he's a White Walker embarrassing mm -hmm. so that's why there's a wall up there and stuff and george R. R. martin has an interview where he says i stood on hadrian's wall and i looked out the top and i was like man once upon a time the romans looked out over this wall and wondered what was out there and it was the scots leary and that's that trepidation is what inspired the white walk is crazy now leary you're mm -hmm. asking romans i thought you just said england but leary if you recall the great vinland saga uh they talked about how the romans used to rule england and stuff you remember Right, yeah. Remember, Asklad remember says, the I Romans do, do. used to be here. I made a video about that scene. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, anyway, Lion looked bad. It's funny. Lamau. The Lannisters are a lion. Uh, George probably thought, Lions are cool. Let's make Lion the sig 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 what do you call that? Sigil. Sigil. And then he had to put him in there, and it's like, oh, they live in the mountains, bro. That's where lions are. But anyway, it was mountainous there, too, Leary. So, you know, that's what the Westerlands mm -hmm. are like. Man, Tyrion must have been walking down the Golden Tooth all the time before he moved to King's Landing. Isn't that crazy? Uh, but mm -hmm. that Lannister dude was lame, and he's like, yeah, the other lord of the Golden Tooth or whatever, he's like, are we ready to march, sir? 
And then he's like, fuck no, I ain't March, and I ain't no stupid idiot. There's a dragon over there. Tell Eamon to come here. And that was crazy, mm-hmm. Leary. The ball's on this fella. And also, yep. if you recall, Leary, he's the twin of that guy on the council. I did notice, and I even knew that it wasn't the same guy because he was actually acting differently. And I was like, wow. Because I, when I first saw him, he didn't say anything. I was like, oh, so that guy must have gone marching for some reason. But no, I was like, this is obviously You remembered else. old Jason. Yeah. I think, yes, Jason is that fella, and Thailand is the other one. Now, that's mm. truly crazy. Now, uh... Wait, so of these two, who was the guy hitting on Rhaenyra when they were younger? What a great question, Elite RE. I'm going to assume it was probably this one. Okay. I have no reason to believe that, Elite RE, but I, it feels like it. Cool. Now, Elite RE, I have a question that I'm going to Google. Is the Lannister on the small council master of ships, Leary? So let me just go in and put Tylen. Hey, press backspace, Leary. Bet, place a bet. What do you think? I don't even know what else he could be. Because he has to be master, master of coin or know. master of uh, uh, ships. I feel like if he was master of coin, he'd be talking about coin more often. Than he and doesn't. he was sent to get the triarchy this episode because they need their ships. Now... Uh, yeah. He was master of coin. That's crazy. Master oh of ships God. for Viserys, as master of coin for Aegon the Second, and hand of the king. All right. Oh, well, oh, no, no, no. Hand of the king. Spoiler, no, no I guess. Anyway, ignore that. I didn't say who is hand of the king to O'Leary, so everybody calm down. Actually, I didn't even know that. So that's crazy. But anyway, mm-hmm. what are we up to? Oh, and he's doing a thingy, and he's master of coin, I guess, now. He was master of ships. But also, Corlys was master of ships, but then he left. And then, because mm-hmm. they want to give the Greyjoy guy master of ships, but then I was like, well, that don't make too much sense. Because, you know, the Lannisters have ships, Leary, at Lannisport, you know? That's a, th- a place Tyrion brought up all the time. Mm-hmm. Isn't that near the Greyjoy place? Yes, it's on the coastline there, and the Greyjoys are just over on their little islands and stuff. Because um, mm-hmm. the Greyjoys did burn it down in the Greyjoy Rebellion, Alita. You're so smart. That's what you were thinking of. I think you're on Wait, it. that hasn't happened yet, right? No, that's oh, okay. the, that's in the actual show or like seven years before yeah, the actual Yeah, that's like way show. later. But yeah, maybe they'll burn it down here too. You never know. Uh, Eamon is not happy about this and has... Oh, then we cut to Eamon in the small council area. Now we're talking about this. Eamon was not happy about this and has a soy voice about it. Did you hear his soy voice? I don't even know what that means. What does that mean in this Well, he context? had a different kind of sounding voice, like he was mad, and it was a little funny. No, I, I don't know. I I think Eamon's great. I think everything Eamon's ever done, all of his performances, oh, I think no. are fantastic. He was soy throughout the whole episode. Now, he's got a piece of paper, leader, and then he, like, crumples it up. Yes, I do remember that. And then he had a soy voice as he was doing that, but I no, guess I just, just don't remember. You know how I would portray Eamon's voice? I would say it was a, a quiet voice. He was very quiet, um, which is cool. Sounds soy to me. Now he I'll, doesn't oh, yell. He just yeah. He just my next stop point here, Leary, voice. is uh, on this note. It says the acting is weird here. True. Um, nope. The only you know the only character that I think has weird acting. Exactly. Yep. Um, and I only realized this when I was going back to watch reactions for the last episode, and there was some scene she was having, and I'm, every time I saw the reaction, like, this is weird. Why is she acting like this? Um, unless the point is that in the show she's like putting on an act, and later on it would be revealed that she is like a big spy thing or whatever, but. Yeah, it's like, it's so different from, like, everything else is so good in terms of acting. That one scene, she wasn't very good in it. But anyway. Sorry. Now, I Keep think she, she might be playing a little prank on everybody, but I don't think that has mm-hmm. anything to do with how she's acting. I think that's just the way they got her acting. Now, if you recall, everybody was shitting on her in the last season, and I think they kind of changed her voice a little bit, but she does, like, do weird pauses and stuff, but... Anyway, mm-hmm. uh, he's... Oh, Eamon's interrupting his mother all the time, Elite RE. My mother didn't raise me like that. As you know, I have a great relationship with my mother, Elite RE, and I would never interrupt her. Right. A bunch of... Yeah. Uh, which a bunch... Oh, interrupting her a bunch, Elite RE, Which leads to him kicking her out, Elite RE. I guess we'll skip it a little bit, but I have the notes for the scene beforehand. But Alison got told to uh, uh, collect her things and get the fuck out of here. That is true. They have an interesting relationship. It seems that Alicent doesn't like Aemond because he's a monster, you know? True. Um, and then Aemond doesn't like Alicent because I, like, vaguely remember a scene where he she, like, gave him the cold shoulder, <laughs> but I don't quite remember what I'm thinking of. Um, hmm. Something like that. Did that happen? Um, Maybe? The, um... I, feel, I, I feel like that is what happened. I just can't place it. 
like that he was looking he like wanted someone to help him or something but she was like mad at him or like went away or something or she did know. scream at him now O'Leary, as I, I i made a house of the dragon video bro and i was scrolling through these episodes looking for footage and stuff O'Leary. so i did watch a bunch of scenes from the last show kind of cool O'Leary. you know that last show was pretty cool did you know larry mm-hmm. strong had scenes with younger allison that's crazy but um mm-hmm. oh she was like yelling at him because in like the first time we see little Eamon. He's like, like they prank him. Remember, they bring out the pig and they say, hey, you don't have a yep. dragon, little pussy boy, but you have a pig. Because it's Aegon and little Luke. They're making fun of him a lot because, you know, that's crazy. Um, mm. Best friends they were, Luke and Aegon. Um, mm. Now, um, and then she like yelled at him. She's like, oh, you were out trying to go with those dragons or something. But he was actually getting bullied. But then the next episode, he got his fucking eye cut out and she was screaming at everybody about it. She wanted to kill Rhaenyra. So I don't know. But anyway, Alison's mothering actually will be brought up later, Lidori, when she talks to her brother. Bessie in the episode, mm-hmm. by the way. Now, true, Lidori, they do have a strange, strange Thank relationship. You. But I don't I even think... have a quote, think... Kyle. Huh? 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 I have a quote that I wrote down. I think Quotes. it was from this scene. Have the indignities of your childhood not yet sufficiently yes, been avenged? Yes, get to that fucking Crazy. thing. I guess we can talk about it now. Yes, she says that mm-hmm. as she grabs his face. Her grabbing her, his face was in the preview, Leary, so I thought we were going to get a cool heart-to-heart scene, but it was actually just uh, not heart-to-heart at all. The opposite. Um, and she said that, yeah. And then, actually, I do have notes about that that I'll bring up when I get to him, because if I do it now, I'll forget right. But true, Leary, that was a true, a good line that leads to discussion. But before mm-hmm. we get to that, Leary... It didn't seem like Eamon was particularly picking on his mother. He literally got rid of everybody that even slightly disagreed with him on the council. He said, mm. oh, because after, because, um, oh, it's after we he tells uh, Jason Lannister to go call the Triarchy and tell him to get rid of these fucking boats because they don't like the sea snake and we don't like the snee snake. So that'll make a, that'll be a good idea. And they're all like, mm. you can't do that. The Triarchy has been at war with the crown for 25 fucking years, bro. And he's like, I'm cool. Shut up. I look like Seth Roth. Elite already be like, who's that? Um, yep. Why do I do tangents when I'm trying to make a point, Elite? You need to disencourage me. Your point was he's dismissed everyone. Oh, but yes. And then Kristen and then Allison, right? Allison says, that's fucking stupid. And then Kristen Cole is like, I agree with the queen or whatever. And then immediately mm-hmm. after that, he's like, Kristen Cole, I think you should go to Harren Hall, bitch. And then fucking mm-hmm. who else? There was one other one. Oh, and then Jason started piping up. He said, go fucking get the triarchy. Get the fuck out of my sight. And then later, Laris tries to snuggle in and he says, fuck you. Go get my grandpa back. He's going to be the hand of the king. And uh, the, the master of laws dude didn't do nothing. So he got to stay. And even the grand maester he was kind of button heads with because he was trying to kill Aegon again. But the grand maester mm-hmm. walked in on him. So it seems like he just wants he wants to be a one man dictatorship over here. And anybody that is going to do anything to him, he's going to get rid of him. It's probably a good idea in this world. Or is he just a stupid little kid and he's making a bunch of stupid decisions? What if the Triarchy destroys him and then sacks King's Landing? That'd be crazy. And then well, we would depends. be like... I guess the one decision we've seen of him, which was, I don't even understand it, and I don't even... Maybe I missed it, but he closed off King's Landing for some undiscernible reason. He closed those gates, led to the... You can't let him out. <laughs> for the... Yeah, but I don't understand We had this discussion last time, Elidori. I don't know either. Yeah. Uh, you blame somebody um... else. Yeah, but it ended up being a big plot point here about the starving commoners. Um, so I don't know. That was a bad decision, but I can't even say it was bad because I don't understand what led to it. I um, guess optically it looks bad if everybody's fleeing your city because then they'll be like, oh, these greens can't even run King's Landing. Look what it's come to. we got to all go be blacks. Mm-hmm, right. It's about optics. So instead let them right? starve, yeah. Yes. But no, they're not um, going to starve, Lidori, because we're just going to get rid of those boats any day now. Mm-hmm. So anyway, if that decision is anything to go by, yeah, he's a very bad decision maker. <laughs> um, I don't know. The triarchy thing, that could go good or bad. I don't know. I think it's that's a, a fine decision. Um, Harren Hall is a good idea. You probably should set it. Uh, I don't know why Kristen hasn't already gone there at this point. Because there's a um, fucking dragon there. He's going to kill him easy. And then Eamon's like, We need well, to do something about it, right? I'll and he said and... he's going to send Vega. Well, yeah, you need him, to send so... Eamon out there. But Eamon was like, I'll come and do it. I'll come with you in, in due time. But you can see everybody thinks they're all like it's a death sentence. Gwen isn't very happy about it. Kristen Cole isn't very happy about it. They both got a I'm going to die face look on them. Look on their faces, mm. Leary. And even Allison is like, that's stupid. And yeah. 
So did she say that about Harren Hall? Well, no, she just looked like she like rolled her eyes when he said it. Hmm. Alita Reed, did you okay. finally notice Kristen Cole's super cool necklace that's no, got I hands didn't. on it? <laughs> I You're need a it. Fucking... Okay. Next time I need to remember. No, oh tab over God. Alita Reed, ring up binge. You're doing it now. It's like the second scene of the right, episode. Just any shot of him, just look at, at his necklace. Let's see. You're Where so is he? stupid. Um. Oh, I see him. Okay, wait. Let me let look at his necklace. I need to make this a bit bigger here. Mm-hmm. It's a bit dark because the screen is paused. Um, I, are they like a, a bunch of hands grabbing each other? Yes. I mean, yeah, it's very subtle, but I mean, I see. I it. guess he isn't Hand of the King, <laughs> so he, and he's still wearing it, so that's funny. Yeah, well, he is because he's wearing it. That's the definition. True, but then they send him off, and that's when he needs a new hand, I guess. But last yeah. time we sent him off, we didn't need a new hand. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, yippee. Leary's finally noticed. Um, <laughs> I have a Lannister thingy about Master of Ships we already talked about. The Red Kraken is not answering, but they want maybe Allison to marry him, Leary. That's crazy. You can't just be doing that. She can't just, like, refuse that, right? She has to, like, accept it, doesn't she? Well, uh, she says out of the question, and then Eamon doesn't really say anything about it. And he probably doesn't want anybody marrying his mum. Now, you remember there was a very similar thing with Cersei last time where she was going to marry Loras, uh, but that was mm. because Tywin told her to, and Tywin's her daddy. And he was yeah. running shit, so... And he, he he doesn't care who his daughter marries. But you're somebody marrying your mommy, Elidori, that's not okay. Um, oh, and that's, that's, mm. that's actually when Cole t- pipes up, which is funny, because he doesn't want nobody to marry his girlfriend. Um, mm-hmm. And then he gets sent to fucking Harrenhal. Um, there's also another Damon vs. Eamon tease where he's like, I'll meet my uncle if he dares or something. And Alito, he was like, oh my God, this is going to be the end of the season. This is epic. Yeah. I think that's, I still think that's where it's heading. I also don't know if it'll be the end of the season, but yep. Well, yeah, the end of the season is the thing that we're excited about, Alito, because last time you came off that and maybe you were back on the bandwagon now when this is a developing story. Um, Mm Mm-hmm. I have a little note about John, but I think I want to talk about that later. It's all about childhood trauma, the disarming of the badasses. There are no cool guys in House of the Dragon, like Tywin or even Jamie. Jamie is a good comparison. All right, Alira, this is where we're talking about your silly line you brought up later. Because basically what they're telling us, Alira, is that this Aemon is just such a mad little little cool guy who just kills people because his mummy didn't love him, right? He was hugging the the prostitute lady, who we do see later, but we're not up to that yet, Alira. Um and mm-hmm. his mother, he's mean to his mother here because he doesn't like her and stuff. So, uh, yeah, and, and, you know, Damon just has mummy issues too and he was fucking his mother last episode and stuff. And, you know, he's not nice to little Millie Alcock and he's not nice to Viserys. And, you know, he's just got family issues. Mm-hmm. And these are our two badass characters, Elidori, but we're actually supposed to think they're a little pathetic. Damon even has a little cry in this episode too. And that's because this is the uh, cuckification of uh, the straight white man, Elidori. They, they worked it up. Um, I guess I completely disagree. I think, um, more so I, I obviously I've echoed this sentiment throughout the entire discussion series we've had, but I've always enjoyed the children as an element of this story. Um, and seeing the things that affected them when they were child or children and how it affects them now when they're older. So I very much enjoy this element to Eamon being a, um, trying to get back at the things that he was wronged as, uh, when he was a child. So I enjoy that a lot. Um, Damon, obviously we didn't really see him as a child, but I guess we're kind of getting the implications. He's his, still uh, a child. Hallucination. my great video. Yeah, true, yeah. True, true. Um, now, Leary, true, I was just being funny and stuff, and, you know, I wanted to say woke him up because I'm a big Tyrone fan. Now, um, mm-hmm. it's interesting. Like, there really is no, like, Tywin patriarchal figure in this show at all. Um, I don't think the show would allow for that, which is kind of the point of Tywin, you know, in these great books, Leary, that I've read one and about one-tenth of. Um you know, Tywin, he's not as cool as he is in the show. You know, the whole point of Tywin is supposed to be he's a little hypocrite who just loves whores too at the end. But, you know, we just kind of skip mm-hmm. over that in the show. You know, Shay's there just because he wants to fuck his son's girlfriend or something because that's cool and stuff. But uh, in this original show, Tywin was walking around with his massive dick. Every scene was the greatest. He was just uh, politicking his way through anything. Nobody could touch him. Nobody could stop him. He was the coolest guy. Peak patriarchal mm-hmm. masculine uh, power fantasy, if you will, Leary. Um, and there were other characters kind of like that. Even Jamie to a point. I don't like know. That. You know what? Go I don't ahead, even Leary. know if I is is. I mean, Tywin is obviously a patriarchal figure. I don't know if he would be a masculine figure so much. 
um, a lot of what he does is the politics. He's not really engaged in um, any direct kind of action, right? Yeah, he rides um, in and looks. He doesn't. Cool, he doesn't. Right? I don't think that he would value strength. I think he would value cunning more so. And I don't think that that's like a particularly masculine thing. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I would agree with that assessment of Tywin. No, it's masculine because being smart and stuff is masculine. Obviously, girls are dumb. Now, my Jamie point here is more interesting, Leary. I feel like Jamie, right, under the good. guise of this show, I feel like we would highlight his like. Well, Jamie has mommy issues, first of all. And then he's got uh, Cersei mm -hmm. issues. You know, he's fucking his sister and stuff. So there would definitely be mm -hmm. a dream sequence where he's fucking his mother if he was in this show. Leary. And I think that's a little interesting because Jamie's supposed to be like, oh, you feel sad for him. But he doesn't. Like, the way we do it in the original show is sort of like he just gets tortured a little bit. His hand gets cut off. He, like, ends up drinking piss, remember that? And he falls into the mud and stuff. And you're like, man, mm -hmm. he's sure going to get that guy later. He doesn't actually. But uh, Jon Snow ends up killing that guy somehow. He ends up north of the wall. That's crazy. Now, his wow. name was, like, Locke or something. They changed his name in the book. That's crazy. Anyway, I remember Locke. True. O'Leary remembers him. He worked for Roose Bolton. Crazy. Now, I was saying O'Leary... I just think it's interesting how they handle characters very differently. And I think it is kind of a reflection of, uh, you know, our, our modern times, Leary. You know, we got to hit back at the toxic, really masculine. Uh, we got to cuck them out. Just like, uh, and, you know, it's epic. Because that's how boys really be. Maybe. I don't know. So you're saying that because Jamie didn't... Ex I don't even understand the point you're making. Like, what's... You're saying that Jamie was portrayed in a different way to, say, Damon, for instance. Yes. I would say the, the way you would handle somebody like Jamie's character... I think the original show was much more concerned with things being cool. Um, mm -hmm. Mostly because it had to, like, prove itself because it was a dumb show about knights and nobody knew what it was. But now this show can be really whatever it wants just because it's, like, Game of Thrones. As long as it's, like stereotypically stereotypically good uh it was always going to succeed um i guess i'm just trying to think because when when i think of damon i not even for a second do i think he's not cool you're like, a little I, simple I think I, beat your ass. like there was even even when he's crying and like he um he's like very hesitant about leaving and talking to alice or whatever and um, even when right like, he's dressing scenes. him down and saying you're a little pussy um yeah all of these things that are like comments on his character, poor character, weak character, blah, blah, blah. I still think he's like just as cool as like Jamie ever was. He definitely um, has cool moments. Um, but then so did Jamie. Um, yeah. And I think Jamie was torn down, maybe not for his masculinity, um, where Damon is clearly being torn down for his masculinity. Um, I think he I know, was. Think it was cool. just in like a less like egregious fashion. Where mm -hmm. like. Jamie's like arm is cut, like his hand is cut off, so he can't fight good anymore, and that's like his whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's. But like... then here you're saying Damon is being um, mentally tormented by, um, by what? What do you mean? Well, I think it, what the point of the show is like he's being eaten up from what's his unresolved trauma that's inside of Leary. His mm -hmm. mommy died when he was young, and. He just, why does he always want to fuck girls that look like his little niece? And right. why his why was he always jealous of his brother? And why didn't he ever reach out to his brother? Because he just couldn't, because, you know, he was just a meanie. And why does he lash out at people that try to help him? And why in mm -hmm. all this way? Mm -hmm. But anyway, I don't know. I'll put this all in right. my uh, big dialogue difference video that I'm going to make one day, Leary. And we'll get to that. We'll scientifically prove this point as fact. Excellent. Um, now there was something I wanted to retreat to. Oh, now I want to shit on small council scenes in this terrible show, Aliri. Wait yeah, a minute. Before, wait, have we already talked? Wait, because I have a note on the Damon thing, but I don't know if it's at this point. Oh, we got. Um, we haven't talked about Damon yet. My, I haven't even got to okay, my paragraph okay. about Damon. Keep going. Yet. Yeah. Uh, small council scenes, Aliri. They're a bit different. You know, small council scenes in this show are all about like things. It's like, oh, the Greyjoys. Yes. We don't got them yet. Uh, we are, we've got to send Kristen Cole to the place. And we've got uh, this thingy here, and Alicent, you're gone, and stuff like that. Whereas I feel like mm -hmm. that probably was an element in the original show. I don't remember it at all. I just remember him being cool. And it's like, oh, this is the small council scene where Joffrey mouths off about wanting Rob's head sent to him, and Tyron says, go to bed, pussy. 
And then there's another mm. one where Tyrion and Tywin get into an argument or something. And then there's a funny one where everybody well, tries yeah. to sit near Tywin and then Tyrion sits at the other head of the table. And then there's another one where Cersei and Jaime, everybody walks out on Cersei and Jaime. And then there's another one where Robert's there for one time and he says, the whore is pregnant. Remember that, Leary? That was so fucking cool. Yeah, it's um, the best. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, I think it has to do with the uh, the importance of the characters that are present, right? Um, for instance, if you had a small council that was formed of like, you got Aemon, and Alicent and Rhaenyra and Damon, and like you have all the important yes. characters there, they have a small council scene. I'd be like, oh, this is like interesting. But now we've got like, um, I don't know half the names of the people who are on the other side of the table, or like the right side or whatever. The, the Especially side in the Laris black and... one. <laughs> um... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It was the, the, on the black side, I don't know anything, basically. I think I think um, it is just a victim of how this story is written, where it's just like, oh, every like every king in that book has like a small council, and they're all like named out, and it's like, mm. and this was Lord Jasper. He he was master of lords, and he was a very firm. They called him the Iron Rod <laughs> or something. That is literally the description yep. of that one dude who is in the council that you don't remember, Leary. That's uh, great. And, like, there's another point where the old king has, like, a master of coin who's from, like, Tyrosh or some shit. And it's, like, and he had majestic hair and he had, he was actually richer than the whole kingdom. And we got him to manage our economy and ain't we so cool. And then he gets fucking killed in a riot leadery and his head gets bashed in. And then the king kills everybody in the fucking city or something. That was a pretty cool uh, thingy. Uh, I read that part of leadery. 400 pages of this book, you know. No biggie. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so it's just like, oh, every time we've got to have a list of names a lot of the time, and they get like one line of like uh, characterization, and then we're kind of moving on in case they're important. Whereas like, yeah, in like it's you a know whole... what we need. Go ahead. We need just we need scenes where we're following some of these characters, even just a single scene. And like what I'm thinking of is Pycel from like the original Small Council, right? He was fucking we, whores I, and then I, pretending he was in, yeah. he wasn't actually, and yeah. That's all we need. We just need one scene where I'm like, that's a guy, that's a character. He lives his own life. And now I know him a little bit. If we get one of those for like the Maester, or, I mean, the Maester got a little bit more, like one of them for the guy that never speaks. like Jasper, I don't know. yeah, Jasper Wild, literally. I can't believe I'm remembering yeah. that name this week, but I am. So, um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just... Those characters are kind of blank canvases. They really could do whatever they wanted and still have, like, the point A and point B of their point sort of like that. Mm -hmm. But I also think, like, how the book is written is another reason why these are usually just info dumps because... It would usually be like, oh, and then they the small council reached out to the Red Kraken and he didn't respond. And then it's like, oh, mm-hmm. and then it's full stop and then next sentence about something else. But you have to, like, cram that in to, like... I don't know, you could have a scene where, like, Day- and not Damon, where Eamon and Allison are talking in a room and they come to the, the... They get the idea of, let's reach out to the Greyjoys or something and not have it be a small council scene or something. That's that The show's not really interested in that. It's just like, oh, there's... And also, because it is, like, a whole continent war, you've sort of got to, like... There is a lot happening, even more than in the original show, where it's sort of just like, well, Stannis is burning people and he's going to be there at the end of the season. And then... Rob is marching and he's fallen in love with this girl. And it's sort of like each stake is more personal. Whereas like this time mm. we have to show idiot Lannister showing up to this place and not going anywhere. Um, well, it all, it depends. Cause I, I don't know what the book is like. Cause like, you know, I haven't read it or anything, but um, I think it's a pacing thing. You could, you could extend this to like 10 seasons. If you had enough material. True. To, like, remember every, when like, I you said they were cutting it short and you journey, yelled at right? me in our video that never made it to the line. Well, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's not reasonable because I don't think the book is like structured like this. But if it was like a game, a Song of Ice and Fire series of books like this, um, and you ha- you could follow the Lannisters on their march and what they arrived at here when they're like bringing the lions or whatever. If you had like a bunch of scenes following them, for instance, um, it would be completely different, right? Um, but this scene, yeah. like this show, like obviously in season one we like skipped a lot of time, and here we kind of um, we only follow the major players. I don't know, which is different. Yeah, the um true i had an idea but i Thank lost you. it um but yeah anyway they're a little different these small council scenes and you know that's sure is an observation leary crazy yes hmm. good observation kyle now leary my next stop point is not the damon one i lied that's actually two from now we've got mm-hmm. dragon seeds and stuff now i keep saying that leary i swear they said it in the show by now right i'm sure they did at some point i know it because i'm you not say it, but... i'm not sure at all but 
Um, anyway, they want Mr. Darkland on the Kingsguard to get a dragon elite, Ari, because his great-great-great-grandmother was a Targaryen princess, which doesn't make any sense, elite, Ari, because there were no Targaryen princesses six generations ago. Um, mm-hmm. unless it, no, was... it was only two generations or something. What? No. Yeah, it's like great-grandmother or something, right? No, she said, she said your grandmother's grandmother. Well, I guess that is just two greats. Mm-hmm. So it's five generations, so maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I can't remember if this is in the book. I don't it think doesn't really make lying, sense. Okay. Because if it's too old, actually, oh, that's funny. If <laughs> you thought they were lying, I think it's probably they probably weren't lying. No, they weren't. No. It probably can't be. I don't know. I should just read the book and see if it says that. It's just that like Targaryens only started becoming princesses when this Aegon idiot showed up, which was only like 120 years ago. Which I guess if you think generations are 20 years, then that would exactly be six yeah, generations be. ago. But then his great-great-grandmother would have had to have been Visenya or Rhaenys, which I guess is possible because then it would have had a kid and would have had a kid and would have had a kid. But Aegon is only Rhaenyra's five before her in terms of generation. And mm-hmm. maybe. I don't know. I'm figuring it all out, Elyria. I know it all. I got great math and memorization skills. Anyway. He got mm. fired up, Polito. <laughs> it was a little he sad. It was, was crazy. Nice, you know? It was pretty much exactly what I was expecting to happen. But it's, I, yeah, crazy. I was not, firstly, I was not expecting this random guy to, like, who's a king's guard or whatever, to be the one who was going to be a dragon rider. I was assuming they'd go out and find, like, random bastards around the place, you know, like Alan or whatever. Um, Adam. Crazy. Idiot. Um... Oh, yeah, Adam. I completely, yeah. <laughs> True. The, um,. Fuck, I forgot another thing, O'Leary. But anyway, yeah. Why is Adam's hair not, uh, whatever, gold Why? or silver? It's, it's or interesting, it's crazy. Right? It doesn't make sense. Because, O'Leary, actually, it doesn't make sense. Because I guess we can talk about this little part. So it's it's assumed that he is also Corlys' son. Because they say yep. that. And then I was like, but Corlys can't ride a dragon. Mm. Even though he's part Valarian. But they're getting Valarian dreams. Like, they're not Rainies' son. The reason why Corlys' other kids could ride dragons is because they were Rainies' kids, too. But this is just some yeah. random woman. And then I was like, well, it would make sense if that random woman was also a Valarian bastard and had the hair, the grey hair. Sure, yeah. But Adam not having grey hair, unless he dyes it? or That would be it, smart. But it would be smart, because we see the other dude shaving it. Um... But I guess it could just be like, oh, her father didn't have the hair, and that like that's how genes aren't one to one, Elitary. You can have two dark haired people can have a blonde haired kid if the great great grandfather or something you could go through, or you can accuse her of cheating, Elitary, if you want it. Um, yeah. So I guess it does make sense. Shut up, Elitary. It makes sense or something. Yeah. Um, well, you know, in fairness, we haven't seen who is riding the dragon. It could, it might not be him. We'll see. In the preview, he's standing in front of the dragon and Rainier Oh, I haven't seen it, it. alright. So, uh, and I know Leary, I it, know right? everything. Huh? Was he on the dragon in the preview? No, he was standing in front of it, Well, Leary. you got a good See, point. We don't know yet, yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, this guy, Leary, he's not some random character. He accompanied Rhaenyra to King's Landing when she went. He was in the little robe out for the... I did thing. recognize him, yeah. And he was in, I think he showed up in one scene and said, what about the, uh, the Darkling Castle? What's it called? Duskendale. And they're like, no, it got sacked. And what of my brother? He fucking died. And he had a sad face. And he was probably yeah. in season one, because remember in season one, uh, R- R- Damon threatened two King's guards, And he's like, you better be loyal. And then Caraxes was there and he screamed a little mm-hmm. bit. I'm sure he was probably one of those guys. Turns out this guy was yep. super duper loyal, and he's so happy to be a, a dragon rider, and he's like, I would do anything for my queen. And you're just <laughs> like, oh my god, what a man. And then he gets cooked yep. to lead, right? He was... He took his time to walk to off die. To die. Oh, to... <laughs> I was like, if I was the dragon, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, God, I've turned my head. I'm waiting like 10 minutes for you to walk over here. So but if you slowly. run really fast, he would have burned him a lead, right? But he got burnt anyway. I, I don't know. I think the dragon was showing very clear signs that he wants you to approach it. And I don't know what else the dragon could possibly do to make it clearer that he wants you to go to it. So, yeah, I don't know. It's his fault. If you walk quicker, I think he would have survived. Well, if you run and it was jump on him and you don't get him. into the saddle and he just takes off, you're just going to die because you're going to fall off the dragon. We didn't have to run up to him, just like walk. <laughs> I think he was at a snail's pace. He was Alita, like he's more like brave seconds. than the king's guard. He would just walk up to the dragon. 
I don't want to disrespect the dragon, okay? It's turned its head. I don't know how long it's going to turn its head for and wait for me. I'm you not going to just be, like, slowly walking up to it. What are you doing? Oh well, neither does Adam, right? Crazy. True, true, true. Anyway. Um... Anyway, he did take a long time to die, Leary. I felt even more bad because he was a cool guy. <laughs> yeah. He was on fire forever, and Rainier was looking at him forever, and it was like, "Hey, he slit his own throat." Man, you think you would think you would have like I don't know how you put out fires in ancient medieval times, but you gotta have like a bucket there just in case, right? Every one of yeah. those dragon tamer guys, they sung to the dragon again, Leary. That was pretty. You cool. know what you need? Yeah, that was cool. It also reminded me of like an Elden Ring kind of thing. But Elden you know what Ring they sucks. need? They need to build like a contraption in the roof of that particular spot. That so lets that if, the water like... out. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, Dumps, I was gonna yeah. say water, or you have like a giant amount of like sand or something that will suffocate anything. Like that'd be crazy. Aliari with his science that. brain, he wants to tell everybody that he knows that sand also puts out fire or something. I Lame. don't even know if that's the we case. We got water, but... Aliari, and if you, no matter what happens on a fire, if you put water on it, it goes out. Pokemon, uh, right, right. Pokemon, just like uh, well, there's wildfire in this, right? And that doesn't water doesn't affect that. True, wildfire is better than dragon fire, I guess. Um, but anyway, he was dying for a long time, and Rhaenyra felt pretty bad afterwards. Yeah. Um, he takes a long time to die. Oh my god, what a great note. Uh, oh, and I guess we are talking about this now. And then I say later, Adam rides sea smoke, and it's cool and stuff, Aliri. When they, when he was like, first of all, Aliri, like two episodes ago, he, uh, Adam was sitting on the beach and he looked up and sea smoke was flying there, Aliri. What great foreshadowing! You didn't notice, but I yep. tried to say no, it to you three times so you would notice. <laughs> you did, yeah. And you, you, you still blank expressioned me, you idiot. Uh, but th what did you think when he was? Did you realize? Oh, he's gonna ride this stupid dragon when he was like that scene a leader did you figure it out um i as soon as he was because when the dragon showed up there and was like charging or whatever um well even before it started charging when it was like swooping around everywhere and i didn't know what was happening i was like oh okay i guess it's just like that one other scene where the dragon was here for some reason uh, but then as soon as it was targeting him specifically i was like oh okay he's gonna ride the dragon that makes sense um so yeah i saw a great tweet a leader that said uh, these two rode a dragon this episode, and one was this guy, and the other one was Missaria. That's pretty funny, huh? <laughs> that was a pretty funny tweet. I think I liked it. But you can't see mm -hmm. that anymore, Aliari. Haha. <laughs> now, yep. uh, I said it was cool and stuff. Everybody on Twitter, Aliari, literally jerking off over how pretty Sea Smoke is. I don't see it personally, Aliari. You know, it's what's um, the difference? Uh, it's it's got it's smooth face and it's gray and kind of bluey. Oh, I don't know. They all the dragons look the same to me, except for Damon. even Cyrax at the end. She looks again. pretty cool. She's like kind of yellow. Apparently, uh, Aegon's was gold as well. So it was I don't know. gold. It was pretty in gold, and the normies mm. were very sad when he got bitten up. Yep. Just like dogs. Oh my god, the dog was in this episode. <laughs> Hugh the Hammer. No, uh, that was another him. dog. No, that, that was, was definitely a... the same dog. Alita. It didn't what even do you look think? the same. It was too. It was, it was a little white it dog. Alita. What do you think? They yeah. hide another one. Nope. You think yep. they're paying two dog, dogs? Right? Alita. You idiot. Uh, if that's the same dog, I'm done. The show is done. Done with it. Okay. <laughs> we can't. I can't handle this. But I don't think it, in my head canon, it's not the same dog. Well, Leary, we'll both watch the normies reaction and we'll see if they react like it's the dog, and then we'll outvote you on the truth. Um. Oh, and then I've just got all the Adam and Alan stuff here. Adeline, Alan is made first mate or something. So he's going to be with Corley Slittery, riding the mm -hmm. waves and stuff. But he's always like, I don't want to. And then later they have a scene in their house and he's like, and Adam's like, you really should get everything you want, bro. Like, what the fuck? And he's like, <laughs> you need to stop waiting for something and hoping for something that isn't going to happen. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that Corliss will ever acknowledge him as their son. Or but their will he or now? Now this is crazy. He's a need for an heir, Aliari. That's crazy. It's almost like all these things have been set mm. up. And and that's why we're supposed to forgive the very awkward introduction of all these weird characters. Now, yep. um, oh, and it's clear that Adam is much more ambitious and self-interested, Aliari. Do you think he'll be friend or foe when he gets this dragon? Well, he, um, wait, Alan or Adam? The one with the dragon, Adam. Adam. Um, let me think. His perspective, he... Uh, hmm. I think he will somewhat hesitantly be a friend. Obviously. It's so obvious. This is going to end in tragedy for... I don't know who. what's going to happen. This is going to be terrible. It's still a terrible idea. Um, <coughs> oh, yeah, the dragon's... Like in, 
yeah, in the long run, something Adam's going to die or he's going to get someone killed or um, he's going to turn on them. And I don't know. But I, I think for the time being, he's probably going to side with Rhaenyra, I imagine. Crazy, crazy. Well, Leary, now we're talking about the other small folk because my next note is all our other small folk characters know each other. Isn't it convenient, Leary, that they're all in one bar? We've got the one dude from that, that one episode sick. who was talking some shit about how he's actually Viserys' uncle or something. And then we mm-hmm. had uh, Aemon's girlfriend, the whore girl. She yep. was there. And then we had Aegon's uh, ex-rape victim. And they were all in yep. the same bar and they were all like, these damn greens, you know, I <laughs> love me some Rainier. Which is kind of funny because it seems like maybe the madam is being paid by Missari to say this stuff, but also she's yep. like betraying Eamon. That's not nice, Alidari. They're like in yep. love and stuff. That's very true. It's just like uh, Tyrion and Shay. Um, Shay, yeah. Oh my god. True, and like in Black Sails. Just because she reminds yes. us of that one character. Um,. Remember when Eleanor didn't leave with Max in episode one of Leadery? We, we were both furious. Anyway, yes, Max there are a bunch Lidery. of small characters in here. Um, it's just very funny. They're I don't know what to bar. say, yeah. And also, <laughs> yeah, the were. one girl that snuck in there that's from Rainier is like uh, uh, one of her women in waiting or whatever they're called. Maidens. No, it's different to that. No, I think women in waiting is if they're getting pregnant. So maybe you are correct. But also, shut up. Mm. Um... She's also there. She wasn't in the scene, though, but she, like, ran up there last episode, so... Yep. Anyway. Uh, the Hugh wasn't there, but right after this, Hugh's wife runs up to the guy and says, Just give me anything! And he's like, We're all out, yep. bitch! And then he shoves her off or something. And Hugh's mm-hmm. patting that dog that's been in all the episodes. Um, yep. They're all hungry, and maybe they like Rhaenyra. Um, oh, and the, the, the madam... Not the whore, leader. You have some fucking respect. Um, she knows because they were all banqueting in the hall or something for Eamon's thingy. Wait, Aleary. I assume she made it up. Now, I just had that a realization just right now, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. If Missaria told her to make it up, <laughs> yeah. because Eamon really wouldn't have a party. He doesn't like stuff like that. That's funny. Yeah. But I just totally bored it. But anyway, that's kind of funny. You're probably right, Aleary. <laughs> that's crazy. Thank you. Um, yep. yep. She's also kind of shit-talking Aim, which is interesting. Already talked about that, loser. They end up starting a riot while Alicent and Helena are out praying Elidori. That's not nice. Helena was in this episode. Of course, she's my queen Elidori. Yeah, um, she had a little insects in these cute little cages. That's my that next note. Funny. Helena has a scene with some bugs, and one of them stops singing Elidori. And I saw a tweet that said, <laughs> okay. oh, she's talking about Aegon. But Aegon's not dead, so I don't think so. <laughs> No, she's talking about the the bond that was broken now between Lainor and Sea Smoke or whatever, because there's Adam. That's what I thought. I was like, oh, Lainor's dead. <laughs> and this is like the implication. <laughs> he just, yeah, he just died now. That, that'd be crazy. Well, yeah, that's the only reason Sea Smoke would take anybody yeah, else. Yeah, maybe. Well, that's yeah. it's said in the book that these dragon riders, like, yeah, they got to die, otherwise they can't have another one. They don't get bored. Mm. But I think we're keeping it ambiguous. And we're maybe changing the law in the show. You know, we hate it when these fucking showrunners are leery. They change the goddamn sacred law that George Lucas mm. made up back in 1970-something. Yep. And this fucking yep. show... And they and lesbian girls kissing are leery. I'm disgusted, frankly. Um, right. That's a great reference to me and Elidari's most recent stream. You know, it's both of our streams now, Elidari, where we watched the great nerd Roddick video and we turned it off because it was terrible. Now, the... It just wasn't for us. It was Sorry, go ahead. Hilarious. It was one of the worst videos I've ever seen. She was a protagonist that used to be an antagonist who's now a protagonist. All right, let's... Okay, whatever. Now, right. uh, the, speaking of that, Helena. She had a bug. Yes. Helena's fucking dead! Maybe. Yeah. Or something, I don't know. I think we're keeping it ambiguous. But you anyway, there's I don't a bug know, that stops screaming. But I'm going to assume he's dead because that'd be really cool if he did just die, and that's why I like what's that. the bug mean? Um... A cage. Damon's in a cage. He's he's the the, the um Harren Hall. Um, Damon's about to to stop singing and he's gonna cope with his backstory and it's all gonna be good. I think Damon, this is related to Damon somehow. Wait, maybe it is about Aegon and because of the Lara oh. scene later because he's like he stops like crying out in pain or something. 
Maybe we'll talk. I guess we'll talk about that later. Anyway, yep. Hugh and his wife are running around, and they eventually get food from Rhaenyra Leadery. She sent little boats with like, that was food sick. Oh my that was god! I cool. saw one boat, and I was like, "This is." I would be so happy if I were these small folk here. And then there were a million other boats. I was like, "Wait, wow, Leadery, let's better. play a game." You actually are no. that bloke. What do you do? Okay. Do you just? Well, obviously, first I'd eat a bunch of stuff before I tell anyone. True. Um. But and like, then do, I'd do you like... hide a bunch down your shirt, run to your family, and then hope no, the boat's I, I still think... there, undiscovered uh, when you get back I, to do a second if trip? If I had like a family or something, I might try and bury a bunch of stuff before telling anyone. Um, and then I'd probably just like try and take it back. And I don't even know what I would do at that point. It would depend on their society and like I guess you, you would, get into the Because they're all and... doing fishing or whatever. Because even as the guy says, there's on, only damn fish in this goddamn town, he says or something. Because all they can do now is mm. fish off the little coast. And they've got the little fish tied up and stuff. Um... I guess you would probably just call the guy's neck close to you and be like, "All right, fellas, let's work together." <laughs> you got because at least then there's like three of you, and like they are still on it. Like you're all getting some food, but I don't know yeah. these small folk are they're a little stupid. Maybe one of them that you tell is <laughs> yeah. try to kill you and take it over. I want it all for myself, <laughs> and then he runs off in the boat. Well, he'll, no, you know what he'd do? He'd report it to like the the gold cloaks, and then the gold <laughs> cloaks would kill him or something. And yeah, then... <laughs> and they would take it all for themselves and hoard it, and that'd yep. be funny. Um, but yeah. Interesting thought. So, you know, I was like, what do you do? But anyway. Yep. Um, Rainier has sent some food, you know. It is funny because I think Eamon reiterates on this in the episode a bunch of times. And it kind of reminded me of our modern political situation, Alita. Where oh, it's yeah. like, where it's like, why the fuck are they all on Rainier's side saying like, oh, when she's the one causing them to be starving, Alita. She's blockading the fucking thing. Um, well, from their perspective, Eamon isn't letting them out of the city. It's the true, dumbest I guess ever that, done. Could be, that could be a thingy. <laughs> That's the reason, right? I but he wouldn't have why. to keep him in the city if Rhaenyra didn't do this first. Yeah, but I think the only thing they see is that they wanted to leave, and Eamon's not letting them leave. That's what Lara says like or something, problem. but that's kind of funny. Um, yeah. And like us, they don't understand why, maybe, so <laughs> there we true, go. True, true. Now we're on to Damon, the leader. Damon's vision with Viserys are a little disappointing. True, a leader, true. Uh, yes, I actually do agree. Um... But I thought it was fine. It just was. I was expecting more. Um, it and was, I was the totally first thing right. Get is a very direct rehash of like the yes, scene from last season. It was line for um, line. Um, yeah, I knew they were saving him for last Leary. You know, I'm so smart. I called that in like episode mm-hmm. two. Yeah. But anyway, yes, replaying the episode one conflict and the scene and Dame and what Damon should have said. And I, I like that they still didn't confirm. Like Damon didn't have a moment yes. where he screamed at him. I didn't say it. He said, "You can still be mad about that, pussy." Uh, that was pretty mm. funny. Um, and he's like, I kind like of that a lot. Yeah. Waddling his way through. We like Damon in this scene. Um, and then later, way later in the episode, he's like crying over Emma's body, and and Damon hugs him mm. and says, "I fucking love you, brother." And this is yep. calls back to that great Rainier scene that I love so much later, where she said something about that, and you know, and Damon is now internalizing that I should have been there for my brother and then I just would have been the happiest yeah. young boy in the whole world. And maybe Otto wouldn't have been around and I would have been there and I would have told him, don't marry that Alison girl. Don't marry anybody. In fact, we've just got my wife, Rhaenyra. But then remember Viserys beat him up that one time because he tried to have sex with Rhaenyra. Yep. All craziness, Alita. Crazy, crazy. So this was great. Now, the one thing that I think stood out the most out of all of this was when Damon was trying to open the doors to leave the confrontation with Viserys and they wouldn't open. I was like, man, that's great. You know, he always oh, just, yeah, he always just leaves, and this one time he can't leave. Oh, um, yes, and then Alice even brings that up later. Yeah, oh, he's trying to run away, Damon, you little pussy. Yep. But he couldn't. That's crazy. They're tormenting him in his dreams. So, Leary, she's sending these dreams in order to teach him a thematic lesson so he can better himself as a person. <laughs> I haven't thought about anything now. I just, I'm more and more confirmed every day that she's not real. Um, <laughs> even though the guy one time referenced now that, oh my God, she must have went and killed the, oh, yeah, the guy or whatever. Say that, huh? um, I don't buy it still. I think she still like doesn't exist. Or if she does exist, like it's like she actually does exist and the one Damon is talking to doesn't exist or whatever. Anyway. Um, There's going to be a part of Lita Reed, either in the final episode or in the first episode of the next season where you're finally going to understand this Alice character. And you're going to think it's pretty cool, I think, you know, just to tease you a little bit. Uh, I just like, because there's the, the most obvious thing, which is it can't happen, um, is that, oh, my God, she's like, 
um like one of the she's like a psychic children of the forest kind of person which is like shepherding damon because he's like an important figure in history or something right that's what this comes across as or it's like the ghost of harren hall is like her and she's like part of the children of the forest and the weirwoods and blah 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 and she's like trying to do something important that's the most obvious thing but it can't happen because that's like not in to the tone of the rest of the show what else could it possibly be that is causing these fantasy like visions that damon is having it could be something really simple like it literally is just his being like given medicine or drugs or whatever when he's like well the sleep. answer is it could, it could brand's be. doing it yeah but that's uh we're well, yeah that's like too that. cool way too cool yeah um well Leary, every know. fucking I'm, I'm character curious. in these goddamn books is having dreams just like this and it's and it's got to be the three-eyed crow or whatever doing it to him so we're putting it back in this show and we're also putting it back in the because what did Aegon the Conqueror see? The only reason he came here was to beat the White Walkers because Bran told him that there was going to be a bad thing in 125, 300 years. That's all lame. Yeah. We hate that. Um, well, the, kind of. The the outcome of the White Walkers is lame. The idea of having unity among the people of the that's realm even fucking whatever, lame. that's interesting. Well, I don't know. I think that's kind of interesting because this is a big division within family is this whole war, right? Aegon the Conqueror um, came here because he was cool and he wanted to be a king true and then damon just wanted to be a king too so he wanted to do (laughs) a thing and these visions were just mysterious and they're going to be revealed in a cool plot uh, way later on i hope so now no i was lying that was like the brand stuff i was shooting on brand with that comment but uh, when i was talking about like the point of alice as a character i didn't think like i wasn't necessarily referring to like the point of the visions and stuff like that like her thematic point or something is going to be very obvious when like her next arc starts happening and you'll be like, oh, mm-hmm. but I think you'll be excited. But anyway, and well, I'm excited only, to see it. The, okay. Well, if we're talking about more character kind of stuff, I don't know thematic. I'd have to think more about that, but she is the only person, if she is real, which I don't buy. Um, she is the only person who speaks to Damon candidly and sees the true him. Um, and she would be the parallel to Missaria in this instance, because obviously rhaenyra has got Missaria, who she can speak speak too plainly and clearly kisses and she her at kisses the Masaria, um, so i don't know what the fuck these yeah so waiting for. yeah so well that that would the parallel would be this is obviously going to happen with damon alice or whatever um so i don't know i guess that's the that's probably what i would guess but don't You're tell me too stupid, i don't want to you'd never know nothing yep. no, now no. um where was he up to they don't confirm whether or not he said it which is good he nearly kills sir simon strong elite are you throw a fist <laughs> get that i was i was actually lip. scared for him that yeah. was very good. Did you see any of the great fan cams of Sir Simon Strong last episode of Leadery, where he told Damon off and said, King Consort, and then the music starts playing, and we do a lot of cuts, and there's, like, little... It's all pink, and he's got a little crown no. on his head. I saw him on Twitter, Leadery. It was really cool. Everybody really? loves the great Sir Simon Strong, but everybody also wants Damon to just get the fuck out of this Harren Hall shit. Yeah, that is true. Every vision we get is kind of like, wow, we're doing another one. Crazy. I thought we'd be done. But well, you know, if you saw the Viserys preview. Now, where else could we possibly go? You know, maybe he's at least with that Tully kid again. I don't know if he's at River Run, but he probably is. So we're probably mm. leaving. Crazy. But we'll be back. Don't worry. Uh, For a big battle. Maybe. Uh, Alice tells Damon to not leave and to do nothing and things will fall into place. And then I said, she knows too much and the future. Um, and she even has a cool owl leader. It comes on her little hand. Um, yep. and then the, he gets the news later that Grover Tully is dead. And then there's an implication that maybe Alice fucking killed him, bro. And it's funny cause Damon asked how he died and he's like, did the little kid finally put that pillow over his head? But it seems like that maybe probably wasn't the case. And then Damon has a cry afterwards cause things worked out, I guess. Mm-hmm. I was just thinking when you're saying that there's no there's like two possibilities here which I'm sure there's no way they'd ever confirm it um she could either be there's and also I don't think this makes sense timeline wise but could she be the three-eyed raven is that possible I well don't that know dude was a dude yeah but does, does it have to be I don't know well also um, remember the show fucked it up and said that that idiot was like 3,000 years old or something rather than 100 Stupid did they say that show. yes the show fucked it up I don't remember. Um, or the other thing is she could just be like a faceless man because she went and assassinated that one person. She's messing with Damon here. The first time we met a faceless man was at Harrenhal. Um True. 
Yeah. Well, that's actually so not true because he was in the King's Landing. Well, Dungeons, yeah, yeah, but you know what? He was a big deal. In... He, he helped uh, well, Arya break out. Here, right? You know, yes. Lyrie's wrong and not even actually accurate. Now, Lyrie, I, mean, I had a hilarious. Like, oh my god, yeah, that's right. Arya's right for a second until you shot them down. And... Yes, I had a classic joke about something, but it was two points ago, and now I've forgotten the Lyrie. So it was something to do with Alice. Um, oh, Alita, like imagine Allison's... if this show was so fucking pussy, Alita, that because that they made that three-eyed raven guy, like, a thousand years old, he's actually in the show, and they don't put Bran in the show, I would start punching people. No, I'd be so I mad. would like that. There's I, that would no shot cool. on a buck well, and a stack were accepted. No, that. the problem is the actor died, right? If yeah, it was the same Max actor, von Bissau really cool. is fucking yeah, dead. Just do a yeah. little Grand Moff Tarkin or whatever. Put him in there. Um, no. Or just grow some fucking balls and have this wheelchair idiot stroll on in and say, Damon. Oh, that would be so fucking cool, Leary. I'd fuck, I would fucking die. Anyway. Yeah, they won't do it. And then we get a flash forward at the end of the show and it's him finding Drogon or something. And it's like, Seek- Game of Thrones season nine coming next year. Mm. Oh, crazy, crazy. I'd love it. Brienne's there. She's like Kingsguard or something. Crazy. Now, where was I up to? Damon has a cry. Tully Kid Lamau. Gro- was it Grover or Oscar? Which one's the old man and which one's dead, Elidory? Will we see Elmo next oh, episode? No. Make a bet, because I'm pretty sure we're going to River Run. Um, I don't have the disdain for the name, so I think that if there is a possibility to show him, they will. First of all, but I yes. love the name, and I-, I can't wait, and it better be a yes. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've seen like anybody talk about it. Like, no, no anime only has been mm. like, Oscar? Grover? Well, I think they're both very normal names. Elmo is the, is the most Elmo is, it is the, the thing that, like, seals the deal. Um, yeah. But yeah, we gotta see. We just, come on. But they come can on, just pronounce it like El- Elmo or something. And I'm like, yeah, oh, I Elmo, keep telling okay. you, we're gonna meet Elm Tully. Elm's, no, Elm, no, it's a, it's a cop out. Elma, that's close enough to Elmo where I'm like, oh, it's like It's the a same girl, also. crazy. They sex changed Elmo. Yeah. That would be truly woking it up. Now, mm-hmm. we'll have to see Elyria. I think we'll get our answer next time. Um, Rhaenyra slapped a boy and said, I think it's my fault that you, you have forgotten to fear me. That was cool, Elyria. I don't know why she slapped him, though. Well, because he was just constantly. Mouth and all. Implying that, yeah, like implying that she hasn't made the right decisions and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, I get it. If anything, I would just always make sure I have like a captain of the King's Guard around me so that you could just get them to like cut it, cut his head off or something, you know? Whenever no, but it was request. cooler that she did it. And also, she just that is fed true. her King's Guard to a dragon leader. You should remember that? Yeah, she'll get another one. She's Sorry. got others. Though she did, get, another one did just die too. And I'm not talking about one of Aegon's huh? friends that's about to die in a scene, but remember, uh, Sir Eric or a cur- whichever twin just died. Too. Yeah, yeah, I remember him. Yeah. <clears throat> Crazy. Um, but that was cool. And also, I think that was... I can't remember if that was in the preview or the trailer. Now, it wasn't the slap of Leary, but the line. I think it is your fault that you have forgotten to fear me. Pretty cool line. Yep. Uh, then she tries out a sword again. The is always like, she's not going to use a sword, pussy. Well, I don't think I've ever said that. Um, I maybe I did, did, but... <laughs> no, I think I just said she's not going to go to battle, right? Because it's not in the book. Now, it's, first of all, I already her. told you that. And second of all, no, I'm pretty sure we had a specific argument about swords, Leary, and you said women suck. I don't think I ever said that. I think uh, Rhaenyra has a dragon. She doesn't need a sword. That's what you think. <laughs> mm-hmm. Chat, I just had the same thought you did. Shut your mouth. Now... Uh, why would a dragon rider need a sword? Oh, everybody knows. Everybody knows. To kill Leonardo. the dragon. Everybody you're knows riding. except for you, <laughs> loser. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Masaria gives her some ideas. Oh, and now we're talking about kissing a leader. Are kissing? Kissing Masaria mm-hmm. and Masaria's out of place backstory. Was she manipulating her? Question mark. It builds into neck kisses and cuddling. It's crazy. It's no portrait of a lady on fire kissing, but it's pretty freaking good. And they're playing the music that's like White Walker music. It's like upsetting. No, I didn't notice any stuff. music. Liar. Well, it's not the same as the White Walker. It's, no, it's clearly meant to be like, this is a bad moment. Like, it's not portrayed in a positive light. Of the what? Um, wait, you're talking about the there's kissing? A, is that what you're talking about? There's another moment like that, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, but wait. I didn't think it was this oh, moment. Wait, we're talking about when Mazaria and um, yes. Rhaenyra kiss each other. Yeah, there's bad. There's music, which is ominous. No, music. I've like, not seen a single unambiguous. person comment on this. All I've seen is millions of tweets talking about how epic the kiss was. 
I mu unless maybe I'm talking about a different scene, I'm like 99% sure that there's bad music. This is right at the end of the episode, right? Uh, yeah. Like not the final scene, but like, yeah, it's a hundred percent. It is ominous music. No, um, and that's not the implication. And let me think. All right. There was bad music. I, I can't remember if it's when like Kristen Cole is leaving. There's definitely some sort of ominous music then. But that's the no, only it's other when they're thing. kissing. No, Alita Re. I, the I kiss was good. No they're in love, Alita Re. It's not manipulation. You're <laughs> okay. supposed to. What was I wrote that down, Alita Re, so you could go. Of course, she's not manipulating her. They're in love. Well, yeah, and no, then... I didn't get any manipulation. What I was gonna say, this is like the one thing that I just don't buy in the show. Because firstly, a few episodes ago, she suddenly became so important out of nowhere, and Rhaenyra was trusting her and everything. And I never bought it then. And I don't buy it now. So I don't know. I mean, it's fine. So you were gonna be it, the brave just... soldier against all of our hundred thousand liked tweets. Sawing out mm. over the girls kissing, and you're gonna say, "I don't buy it." I don't buy it. Yeah. Remember <laughs> when they hugged the leadery yeah. and they slowly went to each other's necks, and then they slowly I like that. came that apart, was cool. and then they slowly kissed. That was epic. I have no problem with the kiss itself. I think it was executed very well. I actually like the ominous background music. I thought it was well done, and I also like the end where they like quickly have to when someone steps in, she has to break apart. It's like, well, I'll pretend nothing happened. That was really well done. True, I don't buy that like <laughs> Rhaenyra is in love with her or anything. It was just a bit like. I just don't buy it at all. There was like, but three... I mean, I, I understand it. Like, it's like clearly Rhaenyra wants people who support her and understand her perspective and blah blah blah. Um, makes sense perfectly. I just, it's maybe it is a speed thing. Like a few episodes ago, she didn't really care about her, and now she was important randomly a few episodes ago, which to me it felt like she is way too important than she should be, and it all felt like now that I know in retrospect where it was leading, it's like they seeded this very poorly because it just felt like it came out of nowhere. And now I understand why they did that. This um, is, in fact, like this. not where it's leading Alitari, because I'm pretty sure this oh. is completely show only. Um, this oh is not like God. the point of Masaria being around. Um, well, so, I don't know that. No, okay. this, it wasn't all set up. She's she's just like Rhaenyra's Master of Whisterers, bro. That's what it's setting up. Um, she will have mm. other effects. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is show only. I think the point of this is probably so we can have crazy threesomes in the future. That's going to be crazy. Um, hmm. Damon's not going to die until he sees Rainier again, Alita. I just spoiled that by implication. Now, mm -hmm. there's like seven things to say, Alita. First of all, everybody's on Twitter talking about how in an interview, apparently, uh, Emma Darcy said that this was not a scripted moment and that like originally they were supposed <laughs> to just look at each other and nilly kiss, but then they got interrupted. But then her, uh, they, Alita, I got in trouble for this recently. They mm. and Ryan Condal, Elite Ari, were speaking... That's the showrunner, Elite Ari. Of course you know this. They were talking mm. about the scene, and then they got it They got it changed. So, you know, that's crazy. You know, she, uh, the act. I mean, that happens sometimes. That's pr that's pretty funny to have such a big thing be a, a change in it. It's also lucky it's towards know. the end of the season. Maybe that's why it's so weird to, to me. With it. Um, well, even in the original scene, the implication is like, oh, we're going to kiss. Um, okay, then it's not... I don't know. The I'm other thing is weird. like... Uh, and I think I buy into this, and I saw this tweet, and I liked it a lot. Uh, people talking about how it's like she goes in to hug her because that's what her and Allison used to do when they had moments like this, and they never had, mm -hmm. like, because Allison's, like, a crazy religious girl. Like, they never had the balls to actually kiss each other, Elyuri, because, of course, they were gay, Elyuri. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? And so it's like, uh, like a, it's like the payoff to that, which I thought was cool. And there was a third thing, but I forgot to write it down, Leary, and I, and it, it's in my head flying around. It's lost forever, Leary. I'll never know. But I like that right. Allison point. Um, do you think like? Never mind. I can't say that. That was a thought I was yeah, thinking about all day. Don't say it. <laughs> definitive spoiler, Leary. I was gonna be like, you think when this? Let's, say, let's, move, on, let's move on. <laughs> I'll spoil what I want, Leary, and you'll be pained. Um. Okay. Anyway, uh, me and Mia just both tweeted about this, Leary. We just love it. Actually, I about think I just what? like tweets. I don't think I actually tweeted about it. Oh, okay. About this scene. Yes. Maybe I okay. retweeted something. Maybe mm -hmm. I should look at my my likes, Leary, and it'll, my original, my other one point that's escaping me will come back. But Leary hates lesbians and he hates kisses. That's why he gave that's Portrait of a true. Lady on Fire a three. He's disgusting and oh misogynist. Goodness. No, Elite I retweeted Goku and Vegeta, though. That's pretty cool. Nice. Oh, my God. I've got a little reminder here at the top. Your likes are private. Only you can see them. Thank you very much. Um, mm. Oh, Elite Ari, you remember that great tweet I retweeted a long time ago where it was like, Missaria better than me. If I, I would have sucked her eggs out of her ovaries. And <laughs> remember that one? That was great. Yes. That girl then tweeted again and said, so apparently Missaria isn't better than me. Like that one. That was pretty funny. 
Oh, mm, this is thank Kamala you. Harris, our future president of Leary. Oh, there's another Kamala Harris one I like, the leader Oh, there's Joe Biden residing a leader Oh, there's a Naruto mm. fight a leader There's a uh, anti right. Hulk Hogan tweet a leader And this is all way before the episode, so I don't remember a leader and this didn't help at all. Fantastic. You know anyway, what? I never see any House of the Dragon stuff on my Twitter timeline. Oh my god, it's Kyle everywhere. tweets right? about it, or even me like, tweets about it. It's That's it. everywhere. Um, nice. It was sick. I saw it out. Oh, a leader I remembered. So a leader in the last three days on Twitter, everybody was talking about this scene. And I was like, how the fuck do they know? Huh? Everybody was okay. like, oh, yeah. and t- th- this this week's finally when we get it. They're going to kiss. Um, mm-hmm. Because there had been people talking about it a lot before this has happened. Like, in the whenever they had had a scene together. And especially, mm-hmm. and it makes sense, because there is that one scene that I kind of featured in my video earlier where Rainier is, like, walking around her, like she's inspecting her yep. or something. And, you know, that's a little bit of sexual tension right there, Leary. Now, um... I don't know how the fuck these people knew, though. There were so many tweets about it, like, especially, the, like, the day and the day before the day before, which was two well, days ago. Maybe one of the right? actors, like, tweeted, said something ominous on, like, Instagram or something? Or maybe they, like, somebody got an early copy, like, one of these review outlets, and then oh, a maybe, word yeah. of mouth or something. I don't fucking know. Or maybe they were just predictive yeah. geniuses. But there was, like, discussion about it beforehand. And then they started hugging. and Because I wasn't... It was one of those things I saw, and I was like, how do these idiots know? So I, like, put it out of my mind. It wasn't until the scene actually happened where I was like, oh, it is happening, and that is the thing, and oh, that all makes sense in my head. Um, Mm. So when they hugged, and then they did it, I was still a little surprised, Leary. That's the point here. Um, Soy good soy. Now, also, uh, I wonder if Rainier kisses girls before. Don't we? Didn't something like that happen at one point? Now she was in that brothel no. with Damon. Remember? But I, I no, don't... maybe I'm mixing it up with <laughs> with Arcane. I think with Caitlin. But they didn't kiss I... either. No, no. But when she was at the place at the brothel, not the brothel. I guess it was a brothel in Arcane. That's oh yeah, Vi kisses that girl, um, right? No, I think Caitlin does or something. She calls a cupcake or something. I, I don't remember. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This, <laughs> this isn't House of the Dragon related. We can talk um, about whatever the fuck we want to talk about. Now, right. um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, it would be interesting. Uh, Madman, oh, my God, a leader, you get to bring up your thing, so I get to bring up my thing, uh, mm-hmm. has a scene like this where there's, like, a character that's very obviously gay. Uh, and then in, like, season three, he has an actual scene where he goes on a date with a guy. And you're like, oh, we're finally getting a gay scene. This is crazy. But then it's, like, mm-hmm. slowly recontextualized that, like, oh, he's never actually, like, done any gay shit. Like, this is his first time, and, like, he kisses the dude and then, like, runs off all flustered and stuff. But not flustered in an excited way, flustered in, like, he's going to kill himself way. He hates that he's gay, too. So I wonder if this mm-hmm. is, like, a... And it would make sense because it's the olden times and they're supposed to be repressed and stuff. So I don't know if, like, Rainier is going to, like, half hate herself for kissing a girl. Or, like, mm-hmm. Allison certainly would. I don't know if Rainier would. And I don't know. Totally, I would totally buy it next episode if they were like, yeah, Rainier is like, I kiss girls all the time. Um. Yeah, so I think I still know. in my mind, for some reason, I just like, I'm like, I feel like this is something like this has happened before. I just like buy it. Um, but I can't think of anything thinking. specific. Um, like maybe she, co- someone commented on her character or something in season one. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember. In the comments, either. please let us know down below. Her husband was right gay. Now, frustrated. True. True. Yep. Uh, Damon's gay too. <laughs> that's that's the real thingy that's going on here. <laughs> Him and Eamon are gonna kiss next episode. That's gonna be crazy. That would be crazy. Um, Jesus. Also insane. That would be that would be insane. Do you think oh that's God, more problematic it? than he than him marrying uh R- R- Rhaenyra? I they I they they're both very crazy. I don't know. The age gap Probably. is bigger. <laughs> He was probably around mm. Eamon less as a kid. Oh my god, the battery's going flat, Leary. We need to get you know, oh. we need to go faster. Stop talking about boys kissing a Um mm. Anyway, I did think she just kind of like, it was like very much a scene where she brought up her backstory out of nowhere and it felt very out of place. And she's like, my father gave me this car. Pretty fucked up backstory though, Leary. Yeah, true. Um I know. I felt it was. It came at the right right time because she did seed that earlier. When he was like, "Where's that scar from?" or something. And oh, I Leary thinks it was he's like funny Damon, talking right? about seed. Very um, insensitive, Leary. Crazy. Um, oh yeah, sorry. The no, it came out of completely nowhere, Leary. You're an idiot. Um, mm. 
also... Oh, it sort of recontextualized, because remember Damon was like, oh, yeah, and in, like, the second episode of the first season, he was like, yeah, she's pregnant, she's going to have my baby, that's why I need this dragon egg. Fuck you, Rhaenyra. But she couldn't have babies the whole time, and Damon probably knew that, and so that's really mean, and that recontextualized that a little bit, and you feel a little bit more bad for Miss Arya. But anyway, Alita, you got six more dot points to go through. Uh, There is a bigger dragon in the veil, Alita, Ari. Yep. It's kind of crazy. I just assumed it was Aegon's, but I don't, it could be anything. I don't oh. know. Um, no, that's a very, that's a long, long way away. It's not. Okay. Um, yep. That's kind of clever, though, Alita, you know. Crazy. Thank you, thank you. I yep. think they've said that Sheep Stealer went missing Alita, so it's Sheep Stealer. Um, well, who the hell is Sheep Stealer? We probably saw him one time. Uh, and also, it okay. makes sense because he's named because he's stealing Sheep in the Veil. Vale. So maybe they didn't say that and he's going to get his name like now. But Wait, he... is that one of the rogue dragons under Dragonstone or whatever? Well, they have the three there. And I think at some point somebody said, oh, we used to have a sheep stealer, but he went missing. Okay. Well. But I feel maybe. like that might have been like season eight of last season or something. Or season I just made eight? it up oh, and yeah. I spoiled the name of the dragon for you, Aleary. That's very sad. Now, they're mm. kind of changing a book thing here because, you know, Alitari, there's a girl there. She needs a dragon. And, oh, my God, there's a wild big dragon that we could use for the plot. What's going to happen mm. here? This is crazy. But Sheep Stealer's rider in the book, Alitari, is a much Uh-oh. different character and is not... B- b- I think we're going to get it next episode. Nope, it's because there were rumors about how they were cutting this character beforehand and the fandom oh. was super-duper mad about it. And then I saw a bunch of tweets also about this, about... These fucking racists keeping this character out because she's like a brown character, Leary. She's a Dornish girl, Leary. You, you, you know, right. you, it doesn't. No spoilers. She's not in the show. Oh my god, is it Damon's wife? No, she wasn't Dornish, was she? No, she was. Well, that was the stupidest thing you ever said in your life, Leary. That's her daughter <laughs> now. So what would be the difference? The point Wait, is, what? Leary, they're being mad Who's that this daughter? Lane, Lane's daughter is the girl, Leary. That's in the veil. No, no, not that wife. Damon's first wife from like eight. Oh, years. Royce. She was from the Vale. Okay. But no, not her. And she's not brown. She's crazy. very white lady. Um, I don't remember. Canonically, the Vale are the most white kingdom. They're like pure oh, wow. Andal or something, which is very white. Now, sheep stealer something. Oh, this Twitter discourse is stupid, Elitary, because they're replacing a black character with a black character. So I don't know what the fuck they're complaining about. Um, mm-hmm. Though Dornishmen are supposed to be, like, brown, but that's not what the tweet was about. They're, like, supposed to be Middle Eastern, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, you know, anyway, moving on. I can't remember if they mentioned... Oh, that's just what I talked about. Oh, and they also got the go-ahead to go to Pentos with the two younger kids, Aleary, but Joffrey has to stay at the Vale. Remember? You remember mm. the plot? Yep. Eamon talks to Laris. Oh, no, no, this is different. Eamon punks Laris into thinking he's going to be Hand of the King, but then he makes Otto Hand of the <laughs> King. Was- which was epic. This was silly. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if this is part of Laris's plan, but if it is, Laris is dumber than I thought. No, I um, think Laris just got fucked on. He was like Aemon and Alicent are like my guys, but then he he abandoned Alicent for Aegon. Uh, I think I said Aemon mm-hmm. just now, but I meant Aegon a leader in. But yes. now Aegon's done because he ran off to be an idiot in a war, and now Aemon's in charge, and Laris is all fucked mm-hmm. up, and that's why later he goes to Aegon and is kind of scheming something there. Um, yep. Well, anyway, the, yeah, yeah. Otto is coming back, Leary, but nobody knows where Otto is. Yeah, that is kind of interesting, because um, yeah, they bring it up in the narrative, which is like unusual. Because he could just be like, "Oh yeah, he, you know, he's taking his time. He's far away. He's busy." But like, because he was supposed to be? go he's to hide. Like, I he's... think now I don't know, Leary. I think this is show only too. I assume he's probably hiding in King's Landing somewhere. And, like, he's going to reappear quickly mm. or something. That's my guess. I actually don't know the answer, so fuck you. I'm allowed to speculate. Um, or yeah, maybe I, he'll I be meeting know. with some other character I'm not thinking of and being like, he could, Yeah, I guess he could arrive at Rhaenyra's council or something. That'd be crazy. <laughs> That'd be epic. Um, yeah, or he arrives at, like, the north or something. I don't know. He's at the wall. He banished himself to the wall. It's also cool in that scene because it's literally just Laris and the Iron Rod dude because everybody else has been sent away. Alicent got dismissed. Tylen's yep. supposed to be doing something with the Triarchy. Kristen Cole's gone. It's kind of funny. It's just like the two of them it and is, the Grand yeah. Master comes in. And it's like, wow. And it was like pretty funny when he's like bringing Otto back. How many times has he come and left and True. come and left? And this will be crazy. his third time, I think, being renamed Hand. Yeah. Um, uh, Aemon, Alicent, and Laris all visit Aegon, who's somewhat conscious again. Aemon threatens him, Alicent checks if he's alright, and Laris pleads with him, question mark. 
anything to say about any of these scenes, Eamon was going to straight murk him. Well, Eamon's, yeah, Eamon's threat is quite the empty threat. Um, cause as soon as Aegon is back to being conscious or whatever, he will be the king again. And he, he has to be, um, and he will just, he'll have all the power. He could just kill Aemon or banish him or something, does he, right? Like, so it's a, does I he think work? this is like a situation where it's like, is the king actually ever the king? Is it just like who people think? Well, yes, is? he is. No, no, he will. I, I'm, I mean, I understand what you're saying, and I think they do that at some point in Game of Thrones or something, well, right? Well, Varys has um, a riddle about that. Um. Yeah. Um. But to me, it it feels like everyone still, because no one is happy with Aemon at the moment, um, they all seem to still want Aegon to come back. Um, they're still healing him. Um, I don't know. I still feel like if Aemon, Aegon comes back to life, why would he want to listen to Aemon's threat here? It just doesn't make any sense to me at all. Because... I can't understand his perspective of why, when he comes back, he thinks he's going to be king. I just don't understand why he would... Yeah, I'll just be afraid he could of him. Be at this scared, point. or he's like, Aemon will just kill me as soon as I try to do something. Or, hmm, I don't know. I don't buy it. There's um, also an interesting implication because I think a king's guard is like in the room while this is happening, and it seems like maybe Aemon has won mm-hmm. him over or something. So it's like, oh, Aemon's maybe, or maybe they're just the like, guards. it's like their duty, and they just don't care, and they're like, oh, we'll let the royals do their royal thing. Well, I'm I pretty sure you're supposed to be most loyal to the king. Well, currently, Aemon is the king, right? Prince at the moment. Regent. Yeah. Well, he's in charge, right? Yeah. So I don't know. Prince I think Regent. I think that he wouldn't get involved in this if I was like a king's guard there. Um, but the Laris thing is interesting. I like Laris. You know, he re- redeemed himself after his really dumb moment of yeah, extending his hand. A bit at too first, far. I was like, "Oh, this is just like an evil monologue where he's like, you're like me now, king man.'" <laughs> but then I thought yeah. about it a bit, and I'm like. No, he's like, you need to come back because <laughs> otherwise we're fucked. Um, I didn't interpret it like that. I just saw it as a moment of him wanting more power. Aemon is not giving him the power. Yeah, um, yeah, that's And he's empathizing using his backstory to do it. It's um, sort of like, uh, yeah. It's like... Wait, what is it like? I had an idea, it fled me. I don't know. Anyway, you know, three more dot points. You know what it's like? It's like Flint from Black Sails when he talks about his backstory to manipulate someone. That's what it is. Does he do that? I don't know. I feel like there is a point at which you start thinking that everything um, that Flint says is like a manipulation. Even no, isn't that isn't that Silver? That genuine. Is it Silver? I feel yeah, like Silver has a backstory, yeah. and then Flint in the, like the last episode asks him, "Is any of that even real?" And Silver doesn't say anything. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe because he's, I'll, he I'll tells a story about how he's an that. orphan and a boy's yeah. thingy or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, crazy. Flint does say where his the guy who was originally called Flint's name comes from at one point. Um, mm-hmm. Anyway, we're running out of battery. We can't be talking about the Great Black Sails right now. So, yep. um, Jace is being annoying, and Rhaenyra is sick of people asking about Damon. True. I wish we had gotten a Damon. Uh, if we, I wish we had get a Damon slash Jace scene because that relationship that would, be, would be interesting. Like your annoying yeah. stepdad who's like mean and stuff. Well, I wonder what yep. he's like. Uh, Rhaenyra has asked Lord Mooton to move on Rook's Rest. So that's a castle near the Rook's Rest, Leary. Rook's Rest is where uh, the dragon Rebattle. battle happened. But, like, nobody's there really protecting it, so they probably could take that castle back. So crazy. Well, until they uh, get attacked by Aegon's dragon, who is there. Crazy, Leary. We'll have to see how that happens. Allison has an awesome goodbye with Gwen, Alito. My new favorite character, Gwen Hightower. They talk about mm. Dayron and his dragon in Old Town. Allison has never met him, basically. That's crazy. Uh, also, yeah. they don't know where Otto is. We get uh, we get a look to and from Kristen Cole. Allison doesn't actually talk to him. He just rides off, and there's ominous music. Uh, mm. Gwen is super cool. Uh, you get on with it, don't you, he says, when she's like, oh, it must have been hard for you when you were a little boy and mommy died. And he said, yeah, get on with it, don't you? And he said it really cool, and he's, like, so cool, and he yep. used to be such a little dweeb only a few little episodes ago, but now he's everybody's favorite, and he knows he's running off, and they're all going to fucking die, and this is no good. And then Alicent mm-hmm. uh, took when she's being told... Oh, the Alicent's look when she's being told about him is very sad. It was very good acting. It's just sort of like a shot on Alicent's face as she's being told that maybe Dayron is actually a good little boy. And she's just so happy slash sad slash... Yep. Oh, and it was so cute, Alitari. She's my queen! Uh, mm-hmm. He is kind. The monologue ends. Um, yep. 
And she was so happy. Alison blames herself a little bit when she's like, were these boys fucked up because they were in the Red Keep or were they fucked up because they had a bad mother? Mm-hmm. And then a leader... She we're tried always, her best. That's what they say. But, you know, the whole time I've been saying, yeah, Alison was probably a bad mother and everything. And then I remembered uh, this scene... You don't remember this scene, Illyria, I guarantee you. <laughs> but there was like a scene, it's probably episode four of the first season, where it's little, um, where it's younger Allison. And she's got like Helena in her hands, because it's a little girl. And I bet if you go back and you watch our episode four thing, Illyria, I'm trying to like quiz you on her name and make you remember Helena's name. That would be crazy. Mm. You now know who Helena is, Illyria. That's how of time course. works. This is crazy. Um, and she's just like bobbing. Like, because she's crying and Aegon's over in the corner crying and she's, like, overwhelmed and she's, like, fucking 16 and shit. And I don't know, Mm -hmm. that recontextual... Remembering that scene recontextualized it for me and I was like, well, I don't think the point... Because the whole time, like, it seems like the show is smarter than to just have Alicent be a bad mum. But then I think the mm. point is, like, Alicent was, became a mother way too early because she was married off because her father was a mean guy and she was, like, fucking 14 and she had three kids and, you know, Leary, yeah. maybe it wasn't her fault. True. She tried her best. Maybe, Leary, maybe. There's very dramatic music I have written down here. This is definitely the scene you were thinking of, Leary, you gaslighter. <laughs> no, uh, I'm not. Cole is very stilted and almost dead inside. In all of his scenes, he's, like, very unemotional and like he's scarred by the battle with he Aegon is and so is Gawain over here uh, but he's a little funny about it you know I really like this Gawain Allison scene Leary. what a scene I agree it was cute true I like it when a leader agrees with me and then my last note is just Rhaenyra flies off to go fight the green rider of sea smoke after their kiss because they're immediately like oh my god Leary, I'm literally going flat they speculate that it has to be a green and that's why Rhaenyra flies off to go and fight him I just got the second battery warning Leary. read read fast read fast all right so oh no what is it uh Aemon threatening Aegon not to out him oh we talked about that uh, cute little dragon. Wait, we saw a little dragon playing with the kids at the Vale. Yes. Kind of cute. Yes. Um, we, this attack on, Al- oh, the, we didn't really talk about it. The attack on Allison's and Helena was the dumbest <laughs> direct thing I've ever seen. It just seemed that they like happened to get away, even though the King's Guard weren't with them. And the, when the people surrounded them, they didn't attack them for some reason. It was a bit weird. I didn't like that at all. That was badly directed. I don't remember any um, of this. must be lying. They were cornered, remember? By the, anyway, um, Rhaenyra points out that Damon and Rhaenyra are everything that the other wants to be. That was kind of cool. I like that opposite parallel thing. And she Wait, who's, who's, ev- oh yes, I remember that. Rhaenyra and cool, Damon, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I said, this speech uh, with Missaria giving her backstory felt very much like the speech that Varys gave to Tyrion, I think, about the di- the monkey torture. No, that was um, way cooler. No, it was way, that was way cooler, yes, but it did remind me of that, because I know that you, I think, have been saying that she's like a Varys parallel or something, but he, yeah, he's a very, master she very much felt like Leary. one here. Just like yeah. Varys. So anyway, there was a minor, it's Kyle. Oh my god, you got it all in, Elyderi. I was going to let it go until the laptop went flat, but maybe we get to do a, a conclusion here. We'll be back next week with the second last episode, the penultimate episode, some may say, Elyderi. Aren't you just so very excited? Yep. Wait, that's crazy to actually think about. No way. Yep. Oh, boy. And then two years right, well, off, I guess we'll see. and we'll be back with Duncan <laughs> Egg next year. It'll be exciting. Um, yeah, on that White Walker show. Give me that White Walker show. No, they cancelled that one a long time ago. Now, with that being said, everybody, support links in the description below. Go ahead, Aluri. Thank you. Thanks.